Hi, everybody. Hello. We're back. Uh, okay, now I'm trying to get the angle. <laughs> Mirror. I'm, I'm always messing this it's up. It's hard, isn't it? Time. And this is LD. <laughs> okay, honestly... Uh, I do. I do think there is something wrong with me because it's very hard for me to get the mirrors uh, <laughs> directions. I messed it up every single time. Every single time. But anyway, this is not what's important. What's important that we are doing our song by song review, the one that we are doing every single time when BTS has a new album out, <laughs> and the pandemic and the quarantine and everything couldn't stop us from doing it this year. And we are already on the third song. Mm-hmm. And this is Blue and Grey. Interesting. Okay, so this one apparently has uh, caused quite a stir. Um, Also on social media and between the army because uh, V has teased this song and he's been uh, been singing some parts of it on on BTS in the soup that uh, reality TV show that I haven't haven't seen yet. Uh, But it's been uh, broadcasted on GTBC as far as I remember. Long story short, uh, I'm quite, uh, I'm quite interested to know uh, what the whole buzz is about. So I even collected some uh, review, uh, or like review articles mm. from the internet to see what uh, what they've been uh, telling us about the song. Should we jump in? Do you want to do reviews for? Oh, we can do reviews after the uh, after the song, can't we? Yeah, because so, yeah. I think I think we should we should see um, you know what we think, and sure, then figure sure. out what. What the experts are saying. Unfortunately, Ben, by the way, I was looking for a Pitchfork review, but they haven't oh, done no. one. Oh, no! Our Pitchfork favorite site for BTS reviews. That's a shame. Ah, uh, it's a shame. It's a real shame. <laughs> but these, they actually they did a video with them the other day, and honestly, the tone, the tone was so different. Like, what a stark difference it, it was. It was crazy compared to the the way they described their their previous album, and now they are interviewing them about their music. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but I'm the thing waiting. is, like, it's not like one person, is it? So I guess that was it. What, what was his name? That guy was it Noah or something that we had before who wrote that hilarious know. review. But probably he's not the person who's been tasked with doing the good things about BTS. Yeah. yeah, but honestly, I want him to make a comeback because it was a very it was an honest review, and we like honest stuff on this channel. Mm-hmm. So, without further ado, let's see what our honest opinion is on Blue and Gray in three, two, one. Guitar. Okay. Oh, acoustic guitar. You guys playing the guitar now, so. Okay, I think I know what this song is because I remember V singing parts of it. See, you've heard way more than I have of the album. Because, uh, you know, I'm following BTS uh, contents, right? That's mm. why. And they've been heavily involved in the production of this. So they've been giving us, you know, teasers without us noticing sometimes. Mm. Oh, beautiful singing. This is, this is for the armies, army hearts out there. I mean, by the way, uh, Jungkook looks so handsome that I can barely deal with it. <laughs> but I mean, just that picture was absolutely perfect. I should have covered him up with our with our little face boxes, shouldn't I? Oh no, never. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really like the rhythm of this breath. Really good. Mm. Oh, it's nice hearing and Sugar's real voice. Oh. And then we have violins. This is this is one for the hard strings. Oh, and the classic Jimmy. Love a cold winter. Oh yeah, well, there's so much fog in here in Hungary. You wouldn't believe. 
it just mirrors how people feel. The whole city is covered in fog. Oh. <laughs> it confused me for a second. Loving these chill raps. Yeah. Really nice. Oh my god, Ben! Oh, you love with this song. <laughs> there you go. It's for, it's for you in Budapest. Oh. It's very much like how they used to rap, not necessarily how they rap these days. Yeah. That's, I think that's why I like it. It's that impatient RM who is just want to get the message out and like can't wait to tell you what he thinks. That's the sort of vibe. Mm. Like back a red bullet time. That that uh, that was what it reminded me of. Hmm. Cool. Huh. Huh. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure this is just a weird translation, but that does read funny. Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm... Yeah, I'm guessing too. Huh. Wow. Interesting. Big fan. This was very good. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is very promising, Ben. Mm -hmm. I have to tell you, this is very promising. <laughs> so far, I like this album more than I like the previous one. Oh, by far for me already. I, I really didn't this like is... Map of the Soul 7, to be honest. But yeah, this is I doing think it. it. it had a, I think it had an interesting, like, uh, it, it was full of experiments, right? Um, but uh, but this, is for me, it's it's just like looking back into the past in many ways, and since we are kind of old fans, older fans of BTS, in a sense that, like, we've been following them for a longer time, I think this this just evokes stuff that I, that I remember and I dearly love. Mm. Like, the way it rap... The rap, the rap made this song for me. Mm. Here's the thing: when I first heard the uh, this kind of snippets of like "I just want to be happier" uh, from like V singing in a boat while uh, like they were on some I don't know trekking or something, um, I had a slight feeling uh, that um, I think this basically. Okay, let me let me uh, put this into context. Uh, these solo songs are very, very emotional, and then they are always like depict a certain mood and stuff. And while I appreciate it, usually they are not necessarily my my favorites because it just like sometimes it goes so deep that um, that uh, my poor weak heart is not ready to deal with it. Like I'm not ready to go that deep uh, and and just and be that emotional all the time. You get what I mean? So it's it's kind of it doesn't let me breathe uh, sometimes. Um, because you're just like, oh, oh my God! You're like, let's dive into the deepest realms of our soul, type of music. <laughs> and when I heard, that, I was like, if Wee's going to go full on with this song in terms of his songwriting, then it might it might be too much for me, for my weak heart. Uh, but since it was uh, it was enriched by all the members appearing, I think it it became very very good. I'm very glad that he decided to do this. Like they decided to do this as a group instead of being it a, a solo song. So I I, th I think it it worked out very well, super interesting. And you know what was also cool for me that it it didn't become too much. So mm. it, it just ended like it's like a you know let me take a big breath, tell you how I really feel, and instead of going on and on and on, um, but what usually Zozo tells me in her voice note that like I'm I'm so really I've been just uh, you know babbling, <laughs> and I'm like that's okay. <laughs> I'm ready to listen for ten minutes of the ten minutes of talk of the same topic, but this was just enough. You see, this was 
uh, it wasn't too much. And it, it, it had a nice um, beginning and a nice ending. Okay, Ben, what do you think? <laughs> um, surprisingly, I kind of like this. Because like, this is kind mm. of more on the slower, slightly more ballady type uh, end of things. But for me, I, I really like when they just do their kind of chilled rapping. And like the rapping 100% made this song for me. Because their flows are all interesting, they're not super cliche, mm. and they're all different from each other. So, like, each rap added something to the song, and, like, this could have been really boring if they'd just done vocals on it, I think. Like, this could have been so dull if they'd just done vocals for the whole thing. But because it's very repetitive, isn't it? I, very, I, I agree with you on this. Yeah. One. Like, if it was just, just the kind of slow, just wanna be happier for the whole song, like, I could have got really boring. I could have got so bored of it. But because it was varied with the raps, like, I quite like this. And it's so nice yeah. to hear less auto tune. Do this more, big hit. Do this more. <laughs> I like hearing their voices. <laughs> Absolutely, couldn't agree more. And I, what I found interesting again, like on the contrary of what we, you know, made a slight criticism of in the previous video about, like, okay, we like more natural sounding vocals, right? And I think this this brought back, you know, the very signature cracks in people's voices, like. I just want <laughs> to be, and then every uh, ha, ha, like every every um, line uh, that Jimmy started to sing started with a crack in his voice, and I was like, yes, uh, it's just because it's 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 something that we like and it's associated with him. That's the thing. It's, that's it's his not, style. Not, um, that's a, that's his style, and and I think. It, it, this is one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why it wasn't repetitive. A, definitely one, number one is definitely the rap. But the second, I would say that like, even if you had the same melody repeating, it came from from different vocal members with such a unique style that it, it by default, it, it gave you different emotions and it gave you a different vibe. Just because somebody else was singing the exact same line uh, mm. in terms of the melody, not the lyrics. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, very good. I'm I'm very very pleased that this turned out to be this way. Very very pleased. Um, and also, well, the other thing that I was thinking about, I think um, when I heard the title "Blue and Gray," I was wondering, okay, so is this going to play around with the classic "I'm feeling blue" uh, type of thing, or is this going to be okay? I'm going to use colors to depict emotions and paint, uh, you know, text painting and stuff. And I I'm, I was I was also pleasantly surprised like how it was the message was varied thanks to the rap as well but it was also again playing with the seasons I think this whole seasons thing is one of the core narrative elements of the album so far everything revolves around the seasons whether you look out of your room you are in your room you go from A to B or just or just you uh, you use uh, seasons to describe how your emotions change from from one point to the other isn't it? I think that's that's something just keeps appearing. But so far, it it uh, this song could have been cheesy very easily. Mm. I think. But I'm very glad that we escaped and and it didn't became like that. And I I think it was it is good. It's yeah. really good. I'm very very happy. Same here. Okay. Well. The, oh, also, the Jin, Jin Stan's gonna be happy. Jin, Jin Stan's will be happy because I feel like Jin got quite a lot of lines in this, which he doesn't usually. So that's quite nice to hear. Very good point. Very, very good point, Ben. Uh, and also what I wanted to share with you, because I collected some uh, some elements of reviews, is that as, as I told you guys in the beginning, that this this was a very popular song. Like people talked about it a lot and it appeared on uh, in Twitter trends and everything and quickly became like all sorts of like streaming chart results it achieved, etc., etc. So I found it interesting how other people interpreted this song. So. Okay, listen to this. It's kind of interesting because uh, independent, independent. The, it's, it's, that's, that's a UK. Uh, yeah, it's a UK newspaper. Uh, the right? independent. So basically, they uh, they they wrote. Uh, da, 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 da. It sounds like that it nods to a heady '90s R&B. Um, make blue and grey an apt anthem for the sad and sexy. Read horny uh, <laughs> of lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, I didn't get that interpretation. I didn't uh, either. <laughs> but anyways, so in the 
independent thought that this is a very sexy song. And I'm mm. assuming this comes from the idea of like, I just want to. It's that delivery. So it yeah. has that, it has that uh, delivery, right? But I'm wondering if the writer looked at the lyrics. <laughs> Because um, there's not much about uh, relationships when it comes to this song. Uh, maybe, anyway, they just, maybe they just um, love people who are emotionally crippled. They just love that, nursing people back fair. to full mental health. <laughs> who knows? It's kind of interesting. <laughs> Again, and that interesting, Vox. Vox described this as even the album's lush ballad. Mm-hmm. Blue and Grey maintains this feeling of warm energy, although it's explicitly about dealing with depression and pandemic-induced loneliness. Uh, After all, even though the boys say, I am singing by myself, they are still all singing together. There is a confessional quality to this number, not only because of the members of the group co-wrote it, uh, they were covered the entire album, but because BTS's gorgeous vocals are often a melodic equivalent of an SMR session which again I found very interesting about like you know how they compared it to an ASMR mm. ASMR uh, session sorry not SMR ASMR session which uh, which I think is almost quite accurate isn't it it's just like they are singing into your ears and just like do you feel the same way mm. because I'm whispering this feeling that I I probably wouldn't sing out loud or wouldn't say out loud because that would be you know that would make people uncomfortable but I'm okay saying it in a, in a lower tone Mm-hmm. So what do you make of it? Do you agree with uh, what Fox and Independent are thinking? Yeah, I don't agree with what the Independent are saying. I didn't get that at all. But <laughs> I'm not the target audience. Maybe someone else thought this was super sexy, but it didn't really... Like, this isn't like like Singularity was, where I was like, I can see why that's really, you know, for, for the horny armies, like, that would be a thing. But I don't think this one is. Uh, I agree with the second review mostly. I don't think it was that lush. Like, lush to me would would primarily refer to the like orchestration and the instrumentation which there wasn't mm-hmm. it wasn't like super complex but i think it's I, I just think it's like a comfortable listen you know yeah i think in terms of the in uh, the instrumentals i kind of find it interesting that they there were a lot of the instrumenters were um sounded again completely natural so they weren't distorted in any way and then there was only this one melody that came back and that was that was this sam- sample-ish thing in, in the very beginning and then came back at the end, right? But the rest of it sounded very clear and almost unfiltered, mm-hmm. which for me was a, a pleasant thing because many uh, armies, I would say not many, but quite a few predicted uh, that because in the teaser pictures, they were pictured with a lot of instruments and uh, and we we learned recently that Sugar started playing the guitar now and now he writes songs on a guitar and because, yeah, you know, why not? And uh, uh, so people predicted, like, what if they are going to play instruments? And I think I think uh, a lot of them were quite hopeful, almost, uh, <laughs> to see if that, that's going to happen. I think it, it's, it's going to happen partially, but not everybody is going to. Suddenly, V is going to be like a, you know, violinist. And they're not going to be like day six, but BTS version. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think that's a bit uh, a step too far. Uh, <laughs> but at the, at the same time, I think it, it's an, it's an, it was an interesting wish from the armies. I think that would be quite quite a surprise, mm. you know, if they were turned out to be like a few months, a few months spent at home, and suddenly they turn out to be like they six. Well, so I mean, be, it, if Wonder would... Girls can do it, maybe they can too. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, guys, let us know in the comments if that's something that you would like to see. Because, yes, if Wonder Girls can do it, like, you know, probably other other bands uh, have uh, have the opportunity to do so as well. And, you know, why not BTS as well? So let us know what you thought. Did you agree with Independent? Was this a, a, a very sexy song in, in your view? Let us know. And we're going to jump to the next songs. See you soon, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs>